Relics and Rarities is sponsored by The Rook and the Raven, whose unique disc-bound tabletop gaming notebooks grow and evolve throughout your entire campaign. Find your mischief and misadventure only at therookandtheraven.com. Well, hello adventurers, welcome back to Relics and Rarities. So, uh, I, Professor Roundland, have spent the night scouring through the compendium of curiosities looking for something that, that came from the clue that you, you figured out. Uh, something about the sun and gems and barrel and... and, and <laughs> She took your note and to stones heart. And stones, and I think I came across an item that might fit the bill. It is called the Gem of Fire. Ooh. And it is said, you were so good, it is a corundum gem, however, not quite a barrel gem. However, it is said that it contains a moat of elemental energy, and that when broken, an elemental will spring forth <gasps> and be at your command. Oh. How useful. How useful, <laughs> yes. However, it also carries a minor curse. Oh. Anyone who possesses it is terribly afraid of it being stolen. Oh. And so the history of it is somewhat unsteady. We, it, it comes in and out of history. We see it in some people's hands and not in others. However, we have a tip that it was most recently bought at auction by an extremely wealthy gentleman named Charles Featherston. Oh. Unfortunately, he has gone off to live in a small village in Pine Swallow Valley near Briarcleft Forest. This is a very small community. They tend to live off the land, but we think that is the best person to go and talk to about it first. Briarcliff Forest is a very dangerous woods. Many people have been lost in its dark passages. So I have asked a dear friend of mine, Ionis, please. Greetings. I am Ionis Featherfoot, and I will be taking you through Briarcliff Forest. He's one of the very few that have been able to survive many days within the woods. Whoa, impressive. Would Thank you, you. Yes, would you like to tell them a little bit about yourself? I've spent many days and years tracking and foraging and learning the ways of the wood, as I call it. And it is to be respected. Absolutely. There are ingredients that you need to preserve and make sure that they cultivate to use them properly. It's all about respect, really. Oh, mm -hmm. well, I'm so happy to hear that. Yes, and I guarantee I won't get lost. Uh, oh, that's reassuring. <laughs> yes. yes. Great. So at this point, before you head off, again, we would like to offer you your choice of an item to take with you. Ionis, would you like to start this time? Yes. Anything in this room that has a special price tag on it, you may take as your own on this quest. My gnomes, I'm having a hard time reaching these higher, <laughs> uh, these higher no, shelves. No, no. Yes. Say, how, how do fellow gnomes? <laughs> gnomish? In gnomish, yeah. Ooh, we can, we, they couldn't hear what I was we, saying. No, uh, I'm a gnomish. We have a little gnomish. conversation and then leave you out of it. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to be you working with another gnome. Right? Are they talking about going to the pub without us? I hope not. They better not be. This little book. This little book. Okay, please Ooh. come have a seat. It's a regular sized book to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, a little book for a little man. <laughs> I think that you will find that when you write in this book, other words shall appear that will help you translate the things that you write. Interesting. It's like a clue book. A book that gives, you know, information you need. Yes. Oh, I know. Just let me know if you need help along the way. <laughs> Veros. Yes. Take your turn. All right. Whatever well, you would like. <sighs> I'd like to take this. Ah, the uh, water skin. We are going into the jungle. We are. <laughs> you can't be too <laughs> prepared, folks. <laughs> I would say that you will find that if you pour this water out, you will never run out of water. Oh. Oh, oh. my gracious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what satisfied. happens if we fill it with beer? Oh, don't tempt me. Don't go there. Come what on. if it just keeps coming out? Oh, man, to stop it, please. <laughs> this is too good to be true. Beryl, your turn. Well, uh, after that last adventure we went on, I feel like I have no need for magical trinkets, Ooh. just for... Oh. Mm. Ale? You know what goes with a water skin? <laughs> I know where you're going with this. Crackers. I'll take this one. You will find that if you fill that, that it might change color and give you some information about the thing you've put in it. This is the oh. perfect combination. I can't believe it. We're so together. We're so, what's the word where you're like, you're, you're thinking about the same thing. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It's called Two Man Wrecking Crew. <laughs> <laughs> Annabella. See, that's what it's called. <laughs> Don't worry, we're correct. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. You write down One Man Wrecking Crew and it appears in a number of different languages on the other half of the page. So it translated uh -huh. that, that phrase. 
I see. Wow. The shell. <laughs> you hold this up to your ear and you hear the crash of waves and your feeling is that if you smashed it, it would become even louder. Uh -huh. Can I use this against people? I mean, you could throw it at someone. <laughs> it's fine. Don't throw it at me. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a one-time use. All right, yes. your turn, Ricky. I've got my eyes on this. Look at him go. <laughs> He's taking the child's shoe. The child's shoe. They're about, his um, well, about your size, then. <laughs> yes. Yay. Those are massive. <laughs> <laughs> but not that um, small. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, as you go to put this on your foot, you find that your foot shrinks, as does the rest of you, until oh. you perfectly fit the size of that shoe. Oh, good. <laughs> Even little. Look how small I am. <laughs> I'm a little freaked out. Okay, I'm gonna take them off. Okay, nice. <laughs> wow. So wonderful. You have your trinkets. We are sending you to Pine Swallow Valley. Let's go. I'm like looking at the sun shafts across <laughs> Viros' face. Yeah. It's like I setting know. the scene. It's enough well, to we make can start with that and say <laughs> that these are actually moon shafts. Oh, moon. So oh. as you have been hiking north towards Pine Swallow Valley, and it's a few days walk, you notice that the, the days get shorter and shorter to the point where you're only getting about an hour or two of daylight in the middle of the day. Um, everything else is pretty much dark moonlight. However, you do have a full moon. So you get these kind of beautiful, eerie lights that come through the, the tree branches at the top. Everything kind of glows green as you approach. It gets colder as well, and Professor Roundland has provided you with the appropriate winter gear for that. As you get closer to Pine Swallow Valley, you notice that the trees get a little denser and the canopy becomes denser, less light comes through, even during the daytime. You start to approach where you believe the Pine Swallow community is, and here you can see that there are ropes strung between tree trunks and sort of animal furs have been strung over them like a tent. And when you peek in, you can see that leaves have been kind of bunched together to make little beds. You continue to kind of weave through this, and every once in a while you see another of these sort of setups. Finally, you, you see and smell a campfire uh, about 60 feet from you. And we know that Pine Swallow is supposed to be like a town, right? Community, a community. is what, what it was told to you, a very primitive community. Got it. I'm going to see who's at that fire. Do you want to sneak up on them? Do you want to just walk in and say hi? I want to sneak up okay. and like kind of just from far, like kind of scout who's at that fire. You're going to scout a little bit ahead? Oh, is that cool with the rest of you? Yes, yeah, we'll so stay back. All Let's right, so go. you're going to roll a stealth check. It's so gonna you're going to roll a d20, <laughs> which has, <laughs> there you go. Perfect, go for it. Oh no! One. You rolled a one. <laughs> on my your very first, first roll, roll this ever. Game. In this yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to beginner's luck? Yeah. Right? Oh no. Good gracious. Apparently, <laughs> Jonas possesses none beginner's luck. Zero. So you, regardless of your modifier, as you start to creep up, uh, maybe because it's been kind of dry recently, all the twigs under your feet start to go. Oops. <laughs> making Oopsies. noise. You hear up ahead of you. Someone goes, "Who's there?" No one. <laughs> you say no one, they go, oh, it's all right, we're not dangerous, uh, we hope that you are not, please come and say hello. That's usually what dangerous people say when, <laughs> when they're dangerous, they say they're not, you know? I'm very, just keep up. I'm very quick. Follow. Okay, good. <laughs> I'll approach. You, you, you reveal yourself. I'll reveal myself. Forward. As you come forward, you see that there, there's a, a sort of small group of humans gathered around a roaring fire. There's some children off to the side that play with a wheel and, and some sticks and they kind of toss it around. As you come up, uh, one man comes up, he says, why hello, uh, are you lost? No, I know these forests very well. <laughs> oh, well we do not see strangers here very often. Oh, well we come to travel, uh, I'm with a group. Oh dear, well thank you for telling us. Yes, please invite them yes. to join us. Am I, can I run back and then get there? Yeah. <laughs> and you all come and enter the camp? Yes, is everything cool? Oh, yeah, my. everything seems legit here. <laughs> You've got children playing with wheels and sticks. Mm -hmm. Seems, well, yes. you know. Well, well, welcome. This is Pine Swallow Valley. We do not see strangers very often, as, as I have said, uh, but we are happy to have you, and you may join us for stew if you would like. <gasps> stew? 
That sounds wonderful. Thank you. Oh, you you're so welcome. Now, uh, I will tell you, I've got some secret ingredients that could enhance any stew. Oh, dear. Are they natural? Of course. I only <laughs> deal in natural ingredients. Well, please, you, please, <laughs> go speak with Magnus, please. Magnus is our cook. Oh. And he would love to hear what you've brought. Now, I would love, love to talk to the cook, but I'm afraid I'll have to talk to the financier, the treasurer, someone oh. with a little cash flow. My dear, I'd regret to tell you that we here in Panswala Valley do not use any currency. I'm leaving. Huh? When no, I'm wait, no, hold on. Hold wait, on. no, wait. Make, don't make haste. There are many dangers. Please do not travel alone. Okay. Um, yes, no, here, when you join our community, you give up all your earthly possessions. We share everything here. Wow. Now, well, now, wait, no, maybe the little man has a point here. Well, I don't know about that. I'm no. giving up my... Warhammer? It is not for everyone, but we enjoy it. Life yeah. is simple and pleasant here. We're just guests, so right. we don't have to give up anything, right? No, 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 of course right. not. Oh, See? good. It's, it's fine. Gratis. We just have nothing to offer you. Oh, no. Except so your no hospitality. Steel. Yes, oh, thank Look you very much. Look at these much. people. They have nothing, and yet they offer what little they have. It warms my heart. Oh, um, that's like uh, uh, kind or something like yeah. that. Yes, uh, it's good. I'm going to play with those children. A sort of large man comes forward. He's got a big smile on, and he says, yes, Stew is ready, and there's a big cauldron that, that he sort of sets on top of the fire, and it starts to kind of bubble, and it smells amazing. Mm. Can we check to make sure it's not poison? Um, you I certainly can. can. Yeah, can you check <clears throat> that? She takes out her cup. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I make sure these people listen. Sometimes with people that live in the forest, you don't judge. <laughs> In my tribe, they might put some mushrooms in there. They might put some things in there. I think I should give it a try because I'm used to eating wild mushrooms. Mm -hmm. But it might not be, I mean, you can have some too, obviously. Wild mushroom soup, but last uh, time no. I had wild mushroom soup, I woke up naked on a mountain. Oh, this is an interesting story. I <laughs> <laughs> they never heard anything like that. <laughs> the, the large man goes, ho, oh, oh, ho, I know what I'm doing. I cook good food. So it's you look at it, yeah. the cup remains the same color. It does not change. There's no, no poison in this stew. Perfect. I drink it. It tastes amazing. Hearty. It's delicious. It is all root vegetables and, and clearly some kind of game meat, whether that's sort of a venison or a rabbit that's been stewed for a long time over low embers. Uh, he looks proud. He looks to you and goes, good, eh? Oh, it's delicious. I love it. Oh, good. Go, dig it. Help yourself. I'll take some, yes. Uh, Magnus me, specialty. Me well. I'm having some stew, of course. <laughs> no question. Mm. Magnus, do you cook for a lot of people before joining this community? Did you ever cook for any, like, wealthy parties or really fancy, you know, higher-up men? Anyone named... Charles Featherstone? Uh, no, this name I do not know. Uh, before I come here, I'm just a, a simple peasant man. I, I take care of my farm, but I come here with the little that I have, the little knowledge that I have, and I, I try to give what I can. I have no family, and so this is now my family. Oh, that's very tender. Very sweet. Is this a community of found people? Uh, yes, I think all of us, we have sort of disliked our lives in civilization, all of the trappings and temptations that go with that, and so we have come here. Our people have a long history with this area, with, with the forest. I see that you treat it with respect. Ah, uh, this is most important, yes. Even when we trap our game, we do it humanly. I will take a bowl. All right, so they've made kind of, uh, even just like it's kind of a bark bowls that they have, mm. and you just kind of scoop, and it's a good like heaping, steaming mm. stew pot. I've seen chef's table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so they, they all sit down around the table and say, tell us, uh, where do you hail from? Where do you come from? Oh, yes, uh, we, we come from... <clears throat> Uh, uh, we are here uh, to uh, in, uh, to see you as inspiration. <laughs> We've heard tales of this community, and our friend here was kind enough to guide us here. And so we're just trying to see the way that you live. Oh, oh! Well, this is this is a very good thing you choose to do. Yes. We live very well. We enjoy our life here. In fact. How about Mina? Mina is our storyteller. Oh. She will come. She will tell you the story of our tribe. I would love Excellent. that. Excellent. Story time. <laughs> so you do, you sit down and, and, they, and they give you something that feels like, like a fermented honey, like a mead Ooh. in a little tankard and, and they give that to you and that tastes just like sweet, pure goodness as it mm. goes down. It warms you inside. And Minna stands up and in the firelight begins to tell you the story of this tribe. 
She says, many, many years ago, long before your great-great-grandmother even took her first steps, we lived here in Briarcleft Forest, and we had our dear, dear friends who were the people of the forest, and we were good friends, and we lived and we loved together. However, after a few generations, people began to be tempted by the trappings of the, the civilized world, and one by one, they left, abandoning their friends. After the last person died who had left, and the last person who remembered their forest friends left, and that memory faded from, from them, so did the people themselves. We now call them the Hidden Ones. We have returned because we believe that these past ancestors made a mistake and that we should come back and, and hopefully earn the favor of the Hidden Ones once again. I'm familiar with this. Oh, you I've, are? I've been through these forests before. The Hidden Ones are this sort of soul of the forests. This is true, you speak wise words, sir. It's important to give tribute and have reverence for them as we go through. Are they magical? Yes. I would say most definitely yes, they, they are. are. When's the last time they were seen? Well, they're Maybe, hidden. I've it could be centuries. Years. Yes, centuries. Been hundreds of years. Hundreds, hundreds of, of years. years. And it is our fault. We feel we must, we must make penance for this by taking good care of the forest, mm -hmm. to apologize for, for losing the memory of them. But how do you know they still exist? They guide us through the lands. If you pay tribute and if you are reverent, they will guide you through the forest. They'll give you signs, hints, if you will. Exactly. This is very true. Oh, yes. Another member of your community talked about the dangers around ah. here. Ah. What, what sort of things have you witnessed or are there legend stories of? Oh, yes. Well, the wood itself is very, very dangerous. The ground is covered in, in thick, poisonous, thorny vines. You must stick to the path or else you will be terribly harmed. And then even then, there are strange creatures that roam this forest, the ones that can withstand that. Um, they are most dangerous. We ourselves have not ventured very far into the wood. We try to stay this side of the briar in, in, in Pine Swallow Valley. If you, sir, have traveled within the Briarcliff Forest, you must be much blessed by the Hidden Ones. I, I have, and I, I've been through. I've communed with nature. I go through and I hunt. I've been all the way to the other side of the forest oh, and back. Oh, my goodness. Sir, you must teach us your ways. I can. You ask and I'll answer. Oh my goodness. Well, how is it that you, that you communicate with the Hidden Ones? To us, they have remained completely out of our, our reach. Well, when you're on a path, you plant a seed to regrow the forest. Oh. And the Hidden Ones will then use this as their tribute. Oh. <gasps> this does sound quite appropriate to them. I have an idea. Yes, please. Magnus. Is he still yes, around? Yes, yeah, hello, yes. Do you have a, a spare seed or two? Something that is not cooked, but an ingredient? Of course there are seeds everywhere. They're in the trees. They are on the floor. Could you pick one out for me, please? I says, I would be happy to. And he takes this sort of large hulk and he walks over and he reaches, he's very tall and he, he reaches up into the trees and he sort of almost like pulls off the branches and these different seed pockets kind of fall down and they're sort of hard on the outside, but inside as they break open, he hands you this one small white seed. Thank you. Ah, oh, you're very welcome. Now, everybody around here, ladies, gentlemen, non-binary, here we go. I will set it down. You set it down. And I'll pull out a vial mm -hmm. that is dark brown mm -hmm. liquid with a cork stopper in it. Uh -huh. He takes out the stopper and he pours it on the seed and uh -huh. does druid craft. Ooh. And I'm going to instantly make a seed pod open and bloom. Amazing. So you do this and as you pour it on it and this, the seed sort of slowly opens and, and this little white tentacle comes up and slowly opens and it's this gorgeous flower that has come out with sort of white edges and yellow in the center with no sunlight at all. This is just bloomed in the dark. All of the children come around. <gasps> oh, they're just fascinated by it. As we stare at it, would you like to perform the ritual from this? Yes. Or? Uh, I'll perform the ritual. It's <gasps> a dance oh. that will <laughs> further the bloom. Do you require music? I do. If you could provide... Get your accordion. Mandolin. <laughs> We've got a band here. Is here an appropriate spot, Village? Please, yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <gasps> <laughs> it continues to grow, getting taller and taller, and more petals sprout out from the sides. And you can even swear a little bit of sunlight just peeks through the night sky, hitting the petals. I give tribute. 
Bravo. That was beautiful. As much as I would like to give that to you wholesale, make a charisma check. <laughs> 17. Beautiful. So this dance, it is it is really gorgeous, and his his I'll movements say. just seem to go so smoothly through. And you, you think to yourself, if I was the hidden one, I would I would absolutely come to this this young man. And suddenly, back in the, the line of the forest, right where you can see where the briar starts to go, you see these little lights and they wink in. Who in the forest and they grow louder, brighter and brighter and then start to fade away. It's this way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I do believe you're right. Well, we thank you so much for the hospitality and the uh, worn meal, but I do think we must be going. We must journey We well, must yeah. be off. Oh, we, we can. would be happy to, to set up a, a, an area for you to sleep. Let we us could spend the night. Spend the night here. We perhaps, night. Uh, we'll I mean, I've had a lot of stew. I'm a bit bloated. I mean. This is yes. true. Let's rest here, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll carry on, not at first light, because that could be in the middle so of the day. So it is your plan to go into the forest? <laughs> yes, we, oh, we're going into the forest. Uh, sorry, did we not oh. say that? My well, bad. I, you did not say, uh, uh, why? What is your intention of going into the forest? We seek a jewel. Yes. Oh, a jewel. A gem. A gem. Mm -hmm. And you believe it is in the forest? We have reason. Have others come before us? Have you seen anyone lately? Oh, no, not, not in a very long time. I'm Helga, Helga, by the way. Oh, Helga. Thank, thank you. you. Very, very welcome to Pine Swallow. Your hospitality is greatly appreciated. Ah, you are most welcome. I do not know any other way. Oh, no, that's okay. I'm sort of into, I'm Veros the good looking. I mean, noble. I mean, warrior. Oh ah, it's all good. All of these are true, I'm sure. Oh, yes. So uh, she takes you over, and, and, and she and a few of the others uh, string together this kind of tent like thing with an animal pelt over the top. And, and again, they kind of push together these leaves, and it actually looks quite inviting in there. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there uh, some. Uh, like a, a pet bed or a uh, oh, right. a bit of meat. Would you like to just explain uh, <laughs> for, for, who's with you? We yes, forgot about this. In the, oh. in the forest. He comes out of the forest. He's been waiting for you. Oh. <laughs> and I whistle. <laughs> <laughs> and I call for my friend, Mr. Fluffy, who's uh -huh. a, uh, a panther oh. and my pet and friend and <laughs> sidekick. Oh, yes, look, a dangerous beast has come in. very large, beautiful <laughs> panther comes striding out of the forest, pretty much from where you saw those lights, and comes up and nuzzles its head against Ionis's leg. Okay, oh. he's a rather large beast, he's isn't very he? Large. That's a big kitty. He's a pudding. Oh, okay, I'll take your word. Wow. And of course he is like six times the size of Ionis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, I'm sure we have some rabbit left over. We could certainly offer that to your friend, your, your, your companion. Thank you. Mm. He can hunt, but it's nice to oh, yeah. give him a hand whenever you can. Fresh rabbit, I mean. <laughs> With the hidden ones that we had called, they were in a specific direction, and you said over there. Does that uh, lead us anywhere, or? Well, it's a whole uh, maze and it turns, because we have to follow the path. I see. Going just straight won't lead us there. Ah. At times, we'll have to continue to ask tribute and continue to find the way from the Hidden Ones. And our destination is at the edge of the forest? You guys are looking for this gem. Right. So I assume mm -hmm. when you call upon the Hidden Ones, you're asking for the, for the direction of the gem. So you don't actually quite know <laughs> where that is, it but could you're be hoping anywhere. they will lead you there. <laughs> mm -hmm. It could be anywhere. The, sh the forest is tricky, but it's, I'm assuming the gem has to be inside the forest somewhere, mm -hmm. the edge, or in the, maybe five feet from the beginning. Right, <laughs> it's led us this far, so. Hmm. Right. Well, it sounds like these people would certainly appreciate a party. <laughs> and I know a couple of people that are pretty good party starters. Oh, oh okay. yeah, that's <laughs> being cheeky. Yes, yes, ready, let's go. Oh, okay. You want me to throw a party? <laughs> well, it seems like a festive time. Let's celebrate with these people. I thought you didn't like them. What? I, I would never <laughs> say such a thing. <laughs> you Ricky, see, you uh, stopped accepting money for the night. It's unbelievable. Uh, well, see, in my village where we keep the wild animals, there is an aroma. Your face, ever since we've come into this village, is my face when I approach the animal pens in my village. <laughs> ah, how perceptive of you. <laughs> well, I've just thought that we could show them a good time. Well, we know how to show people a good time. <laughs> All right, pull out the lawn darts and the keg of ale. Let's right. get this started. 
Uh, so you come back to the main area. Uh, uh, Helga brings you this rabbit. She says, this is for your companion. At this point, uh, another young man comes forward. He says, hello, I am Christopher. We are so glad to have you here. We heard something about making revelry for this evening. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this would be most fun. We know many dances and songs, and we would love to, to spend the night. Uh, although we, we must go to bed as we have long days of, of, of surviving <laughs> ahead of us. Mm. We must hunt and gather. We could take this time for all of us to learn this dance, including the oh. people of this of Pine Swallow Valley. All right. Mm -hmm. Sounds fun. So you spend the next couple of hours <laughs> dancing with each other and getting to know one another, and everything seems really wonderful. However, you, looking around, you feel like someone's missing. Hmm. Is Magnus around? Magnus is missing. I was going to go looking for him. <laughs> <laughs> you do not see Magnus anywhere. Mm -hmm. You also notice that one of the little girls has kind of gone off to the side, and she's sitting on a log. She's not, uh, making, she's not in the party with everyone else. I would like to go snooping for Magnus. You'd like to go snooping for Magnus. Okay, you want to track him? Sure. All right, survival check. That's fun. <laughs> Let's see if we can track him. Okay, that is a 22. A 22. Mm -hmm. So you go back into the kind of the kitchen area where was the last you saw him. You try to kind of see if you can figure out like which are his footprints. And you're pretty sure because he is a large man. So he has these larger prints and they go in a little deeper. And you start to follow them. And they go back to his little sort of space that he lives. And there you see that the leaves have been terribly disarrayed. And then you catch his footprints and they seem to be running off in the direction of the forest. Into the forest? Into the forest. Oh, dear. Uh, I'll run back into the... You the, run back into the revelry, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Look, we, we have a situation. What? Mm. The cook, Magnus, he's gone. Gone where? I found footprints that seem to be his going into the forest. Did anyone see him run into the forest? Not that I know. Everyone was partying. Whose stupid big... idea was this? <laughs> well, I, I think it was uh, Beryl's. I think so too. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah. I'm just about to make sure. a move on Helga. Do we have time? No, no, no we on. should go she's immediately really and find him. I'm wearing her down very easily. I think yeah. she's That's not used to it. We need to find Magnus. We need to have a conversation about that. What? Later. Uh. Christopher goes over and he, and he goes to the little girl who's sitting there and you see him kind of patting her on the shoulder as she begins to kind of start to cry a little bit. I go sit next to her and I say, you're me. right, these people are awful. No, it is I, it is I that is awful. Well, what and happened? she begins to cry through her tears. I have kept a secret. And you what? should not keep secrets. No, the hidden ones shouldn't. do not like when you keep secrets. What did you do? And I shall be punished by them. Well, you could tell me about it. And so I told my dad here. She points to Christopher and she says, I am so terrible, I am wicked. Uh, Magnus, he told me, he told me that he keeps a gem in the forest. And when you said that, I should have said something, but I did not because I was afraid. Perhaps mm -hmm. Magnus isn't his true identity. Mm-hmm. It's okay, little girl. <laughs> Don't cry. You have no reason to be sad. I feel terrible. It's okay. Sometimes, you know, telling the truth isn't always as easy as people say it is. Because, like, sometimes my friends say, oh, don't tell anybody this. And somebody asks me, and then I have to choose who to be honest to, and it's really hard. You're it's not right. easy. It is very, very hard. Yeah. I like Don't Magnus cry. so much. You're a nice girl. <gasps> You are a nice lady. And you have nice food and you're nice people. Why, thank you. I'm sure Magnus is just a bastard. Don't no, worry about Magnus. it. <laughs> Magnus is so nice. He plays with us and he tells us stories and he's so nice. And he told me about his gem, but he told me to keep it a secret. Mm. And now I don't know. I've told his secret and that is bad. But to keep his secret, that is bad. No, uh, mm. she's right. I mean, she's just she's <laughs> so, so tender, so focused. I'm learning so much. Mm. I think that she's correct. You should listen to her. It's OK that you told it. It's for the better good. <gasps> Oh, goodness. Because bad. lying is bad, Ricky, and you shouldn't lie about it. <laughs> Ricky, where'd he go? Ricky's left. You shouldn't lie about whose idea it was to do a party. <laughs> All right, well, if you think it is best, he said that he has a cabin deep, deep in the woods, and that is where he keeps it. Do you know roughly the direction? Oh, of course not. I've not mm. been there. He just told me he keeps a cabin in the woods. A secret cabin. I said yes. we take the path and find the cabin, and I'll use... Everything I've got in my bag to tell, you know, to make Magnus tell us who he really is. We do know Magnus to be a very genuine and heartfelt soul. I do not know what is wrong. When did he join this community? Quite recently, a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes, you take off towards that first path. And as you get it, you do notice that these briars start to creep up and they create kind of a narrow maze where only one or two of you can stand abreast. Mm -hmm. And as you start to enter into the main forest, it gets even darker. Now, dark vision kids, uh, you. 
can can see no problem, you know, as far as you need to. Humans, you're going to start to have some trouble. Okay. If we're picking an order, I would like to be behind you. Okay. And you're going to walk. You're going to walk blind with your. I'll, I'm going to I'll take the. My... I'll take the front and. Okay. Uh, well, perhaps it we shouldn't light should any lanterns yet. Scout yeah. a little bit. I should be like. I'll. I'll. I'll take the very front. Okay. The very yeah. front. Would you mind flanking, actually, because you're big. Yeah. And get. I'll get in between yeah. you. But she we can can't also see. see. She can see. Right. But she so can, she can, she can also see if something's coming up behind us while they can see what's coming up in front of us. That's why you're I'm an intellectual. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're fighter And I'll r- ride on Mr. Fluffy's you're back. Dumb. All right, so you oh see my God. Eonis, it's like, That's it's so actually, cool. it's kind of cool and sexy and live. He just sort of leaps up on top of Mr. Fluffy. And Mr. Fluffy's like into it. You see, as soon as he's up there, Fluffy's like ready. Mm-hmm. Your friends, let's go. And they start to stalk forward and he does that amazing thing with his feet that cats do. Mm-hmm. It's like this, like, Huge paws, mm. and also Mr. Fluffy starts. You know, he's sniffing the ground, mm-hmm. trying to track as best he can. Mm-hmm. This is fantastic. Mm. What do you smell, boy? <laughs> so you you walk for a while, coming through, and Mr. Fluffy is is sort of following the snack, taking some sniffs, trying to get it. But you come to an intersection where one path goes to the right and one path goes to the left, and Mr. Fluffy sort of stops, tests it to the right test it to the left, and he kind of looks back up at you, and you can tell that this is sort of his, his confused face. He doesn't know which way to go. Mr. Fluffy doesn't know which way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, investigate the tracks here. Okay, you want to make a survival check? Yeah, Okay. I'm a pretty good tracker. I got a 10. A 10? <laughs> you look down, they're a little hard to discern. It would be very hard for you to tell which mm-hmm. direction mm-hmm. he went. Is this the time? This is the time to, t- to ask the spirit. So I drop a seed, mm-hmm. I cover it, and then I do, do your dance. dance. Ooh, I want to pour yeah. druid craft on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so, it, so yes, it blooms again very quickly. Does anyone join him in his dance? Yeah. Oh, there you go. So all know it now. Yeah. It's a gnome so thing. It's a gnome. <laughs> yes, the gnomes. <laughs> the gnomes do a fabulous yeah, little well. duet, a pas de deux. Oh my god, yes. Do you want to get it? Do, it. do your pas de deux. Do first, we do that first. Oh, do right. that first. Okay. Oh, please dance. Okay. Okay. And about a mandolin. <laughs> Some music, oh, please. A little music. Divine <laughs> <laughs> grows. This time it's a beautiful purple flower. Very, although you can't tell in your dark visions, so never mind. Sure. Uh, it looks like a black a and white. Flower. It's a gray flower. It's a gray flower. A gorgeous flower. gray flower <laughs> that grows out of the ground, and, 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 and more and more petals, seemingly endless petals, come out of it. Now make your, your charisma throw with advantage. With advantage. So you're going to roll two and take the higher. These two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 14 with one charisma. 15. So 15? All right. You've done this, and then you sort of close your eyes and wait. Suddenly, a little light off to the right. Just a little floating ball of light, and it starts to go off down the path towards the right. It's this way, to the right. Let's go. All right, you walk for a little while down that path, and suddenly you come across a huge, like a five foot across hole in the ground, and you can hear something off the path, off to your left, and it sounds like huge teeth chomping on bones. So there's a hole in front of us. A five foot hole in the ground. And we're hearing from the and side. And off in the woods to the side, there's a little path that kind of goes off the main path and you think down that way you can hear the sound of crunching bones. Can we see you how wanna deep the hole is? You want to look down in the hole? Well, you can't see anything. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take a gander. You yeah. want to look down? So you look down and, and it's a tunnel. It almost looks like it's been burrowed. So by there's a little- By hands or by claws? No, this is huge. It's, it's a oh. five foot wide you know, in diameter hole. Uh-huh. So something really big seems to have like burrowed under the ground and come up, emerged up in this spot. Would I have any experience with these types of things since I have the, the wanderer, outlander sort mm. of background? Yeah, I mean, you could certainly make a survival check, maybe mm-hmm. a nature check. Okay. Just tell us what you can do. Yeah. Maybe do a, maybe do a nature through. check. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just want to see if it's dangerous right. before everyone pokes their head. My rolls right now are just like <laughs> yeah, not great. Yeah, you don't great. really, you don't think you have any idea what this could be. This is outside yeah. of your scope of experience. Have I experienced one of these before? Go ahead and make a nature check. 
12. A full 12. So you look at it, it it's not, again, it's not something you specifically experienced either, but you think it's, it's clearly big, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's clearly dangerous, it has sharp enough either teeth or talons or whatever it is to mm -hmm. kind of climb through the rock, and it may not be something you want to tangle with. This seems dangerous, and it seems like it's ahead of us, but underground. I think if we tread lightly and quietly, that's our, that's our best case of action right now because Through we can't go around. back around okay. and above because it's, 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 it's a hole right. underground. The hole is underground, mm. but you hear the sound above. above. Oh, you hear the sound above ground. Yeah. Yeah. You do. Uh, let's travel down this hole. Uh -huh. There it is. <laughs> I, but what? I, I don't think we should do this. No, I think they could illuminate it as we go. Uh, well, if we illuminate it, it might draw the attention. This is clearly a large it. beast's burrow. We should not go down this hole. Well, it's the only path. Uh, uh, I, I would rather t d swing from the trees in a, uh, in a b beautiful ar acrobatic fashion than go into this dark hole of s a giant beast or worm. Or how many feet demon? is this thing? The hole oh. is five feet in diameter. But the creature. You're you're not sure. Uh, I mean, you could certainly try and make a check to see if you can sense how far away it would be. How high? Based on the would sound. That be a how nature high up check? is that? Is it what? Is, are like the tree branches. The tree branches. And we're talking. I mean, these trees are like forty foot tall trees. So you could. The first branches are within reach. Before we move into here. Hmm. You've got to get a vantage point, see what it is ahead. Yeah. If we go into this hole, we might end up right in its burrow and be trapped. Or in Single mouth. file. And then it'll eat you, and it'll eat him. <laughs> you hear another him. large crack of bone. <laughs> oh, it's I don't like right that. Now. I don't like that. Sound. It's distracted. We need to move. We well, do. I go up in the trees and, mm. and uh, scout ahead. ahead a little bit. Go for it. Before you do, drink this. And he pulls out, and it's a tiny, like, heart-shaped bottle with a bright purple liquid in it. <laughs> Down the hatch. No <laughs> questions. No questions. Ah. What was that? It, this is... <laughs> <laughs> you are now protected from poison. Ah. I had heard that these thorns in the trees, they're very poisonous, and so I just want to make sure you're okay. Now, I don't have a lot of these, so we have to use them sparingly, okay? This thing is friggin' delicious, man. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. Ricky Huckster at your service. <laughs> now, this will be good for one hour, so be very careful. One hour. Wonderful. All right. <sighs> Stay here and protect. I, I, I leave. You leave Mr. Mr. Fluffy? Fluffy? Mr. Fluffy. Okay. Mr. And Fluffy I, doesn't like it, though. Mr. He's Fluffy like, doesn't oh. like it. I'm petting him now. Pet him. And I, <laughs> I'm trying to I, soothe I, him. I, I climb up. Start climbing. All right, make an athletics check. Okay. Five plus <laughs> six. Uh, it'll be in your strength. It's plus negative one, so <laughs> four. Yeah. It's a four. He, he grabs the first branch and goes, <laughs> <laughs> ah, You know what? <laughs> Mr. Fluffy, why don't you come on with me? <laughs> So you jump on Fluffy's I back? I jump on Fluffy's All right, back. Fluffy can make an athletics check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you you should, he has Fluffy's stats oh. Maybe behind those other pages, yeah. Athletics plus four, okay. So roll d20 at four for, for Mr. Fluffy. Are you on its back? I'm on its back. Okay. 10 plus four, 14. 14. So you get on Mr. Fluffy's back. So Mr. Fluffy does a little bound and he jumps right up on top of that first limb. And he gets his claws into the bark of the tree and sort of hugs it and is able to kind of shimmy his way up and you're holding on to his neck just along for the ride like this. As you get higher and higher up in the branches, you get a good, I'd say 30 feet up and you start to look around. On the path just ahead of you, you look down and you see what you recognize to be an umber hole. It's a, a large beast that has mandibles, almost like an insect, and it is eating a bear carcass. This is bad news. What do you see? It's an umber hull. What? An umber, umber hulk. hulk. Umber hulk. Oh, no. Sorry, I get, was still no, drinking some of that delicious juice. <laughs> <clears throat> it's an umber hulk. Oh, no. Highly dangerous, massive, but it's eating right now. It's ahead of you on the path. It's ahead of you on the path. Uh huh. And how far down is it? There's like a, a bend in the path, so you're talking another like 60 feet. Okay. But it is in our way. It is in yeah. your way <laughs> if you stay on the path. Oh, I've got an idea. We go down the hole and we send it over behind us. <laughs> Getting in the like hole. Like a lure. Like a lure. So then it goes behind us. Yeah. And then we get up and we book it. Yeah. Oh, so we just right. Hide. Or you distract it. And then it goes to that distraction and we go the other way. That's also a good idea. Ah, uh, there we are. We'll be yeah. out into the forest. There we are. Totally different idea. I would like I mean, to do a, a minor treat. illusion. <laughs> you're okay. safe. Uh, before you do, I'll mm -hmm. be getting in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Tied um, in the hole? Sounds like it. I don't want to get in this hole. 
<laughs> I just love this hole. <laughs> okay, who here wants to get in the hole? I'll go. Take a vote. <laughs> who wants to go hole Look, digging? I will either decapitate the bug or I will go in the hole. But we need action. Yes. If we get in the hole while I do this minor illusion, I want all of our weapons going up in case this thing tries okay. to come down. So It'll you can all die. be readied. Is that that's yes, that's you'll all be ready for? Okay. 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 Weapons up. Okay. In the hole. Weapons mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am doing a minor illusion of a lion's roar. Okay. Coming. Oh. But if we put it back from where we were, that's where it the people the are. That's true. Okay. So <laughs> let's put it um, east. Let's let's put it east. <laughs> Just pick a direction. Is so a so <laughs> ahead of it from where you are. No. So like you're here on the path. It's here, mm -hmm. and you want to put the lion roaring here. Nowhere where we're going or where we've been. So somewhere just off to the side. Off yes. the beaten path. Okay. We because don't have to then, go the right when the lion, I mean, when the elk thing is like mm -hmm. running, it'll get hit by all the poison and it'll just die on its own. Well, it lives here. <laughs> so it's probably <laughs> made its way. You just thought this through. Yes, I thought it through. Lions roar, go. Okay. So are you still, everyone's in the, in in the hole. hole or are you mm -hmm. still in the tree? No, I'm, I'm still in the tree right now. You're still yeah. in the tree. Okay, Can you, you all get down the hole, hole and you're readied with your weapons. I'm in the hole with I'm my in the axes hole. up. Okay. Yeah, same. Yeah. Okay, okay. fantastic. So 30 feet off to the east. <laughs> to the east. <laughs> Suddenly you hear the loudest lion's roar. <laughs> right through, through, that even sort of rattles the branches up high where you are. I think a you, lion up there too. <laughs> <laughs> you see the Umber Hulk stops eating and it turns to look in that direction. And even from your vantage point, you can see that it has four eyes oh. on its on its front of its face, and they all kind of seem to look in different directions. Yeah. Very still. <laughs> but then you can see these little hairs on its arms and legs start to twitch a little bit, like it's trying to, to sense something. It turns in the direction of the roar, and looking back at its at its its bear, it digs into the ground, making a second burrow. Grabs the bear and pulls it down into the burrow with it, and disappears from your sight. Okay, go ahead. We'll okay. just wait until he gets back. Guys, get out of the hole. <laughs> Did you come back down? I'm coming back down to the ground, but not into the hole. Okay. okay. You see all of us like huddled, yeah, holding yeah. weapons. And I, and I and I saw all that, that. You saw it. You saw, saw it happened. dig down and disappear. You're not quite sure where it went, though. What should we do? I think guys get the hell out of that hole. Oh. Barrel, get the, go on. I'll follow yeah. you. All right. So Barrel and I get out. Okay. I think it sensed us. Okay. I think it knows that we're here. I just want to point out. I think there's a lion out here too. <laughs> so we should be ready for that. Okay. So what? Do we book it? Off in the direction where you made the lion roar, you hear as if the dirt has been upended and something has come out from the ground right where you made that noise. Okay. Quickly and quietly move down this path. Mm -hmm. We've got a little bit of time. Let's go. Yeah, it, while it's Let's distracted, go. Let's go. Right. still search for that Are you lion. doing this stealthily? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're going slow and doing it stealthily. Absolutely. I guess you can't go fast and stealth. You kind of can. Okay. So you can, you can maintain speed and do stealth. Okay. Um, and I think that applies to your party. I'm pretty quick. Oh, okay. yeah. I believe that applies ranger. to your party as a ranger. So you still have to make the stealth checks, but you can move your full speed in this time. Oh, nice. So, everyone makes stealth checks. Oh, God. Here we are. Hey. Crit. A crit for Virus. <laughs> Redemption is mine. Oh, a six. A six? Nine. A nine. Right, because we With add all our initiative, your, correct? No, no, you're adding your stealth Sorry. bonus. Ten. Ten. So you have a ten? Okay. Ricky? Uh, I have an eight. You have an eight. <laughs> A 17. And you have a 17. This time, although the, the, the two of you, Viros and, and uh, Ionis, you're trying so hard to kind of keep everybody together. Unfortunately, although few of you can see, one of you, I, biffed it. I think, stumbles, <laughs> and you hear the rattle of glass. <laughs> Suddenly the noise far off to the side stops. Fool of a nose. You hear another <laughs> digging noise, crunch, 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 and the sound ends. Okay. Climb. Uh, go. Battle stations. Go. Come on. Climb. Okay. I need to be ready. I listen to him and I okay. run it to the nearest tree. You run to the nearest tree and start climbing, climbing up. up. Yep, give me an athletics check. Oh boy. <laughs> Plus my athletics. Eight. It's an eight. You're able to scramble up, but you're only like four feet off the ground. <laughs> Cool, I'll stay there. You're gonna stay there holding on to this tree. I stand in the middle of the path, pull out Betty. Okay. Start you're swinging. Ready, you're ready for some trouble? I know what's coming. Okay. 
Oh, oh the Warhammer is out. It's out. You two like back to yeah. back We're in like, the middle of the <laughs> That's right. Okay. <laughs> uh, I get up high in the tree and ready a bow. Okay, so you're going to also make an athletics check to climb? On Fluffy, just Okay, to help great. Get yeah, then, then you'll add Fluffy's four. Okay, okay. It's an uh, eight. You guys picked the wrong tree. Fluffy's really, he, he's trying, but he can't get a purchase with his, his nails. So again, you only get up about like five feet within this time. I blame the tree, guys. What do you do, Annabella? <laughs> I put my gloves on. Okay. Because I brought gloves. Uh-huh. Okay. You're wintry. Then. And I am also going to climb a tree. Okay. Okay. Give me an athletics check. Great. 11 plus 2, so 13. So a 13. So amazingly, Annabella and her beautiful cashmere gloves. <laughs> Gets up higher than the, than the little forest gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say, fellas, she's spry. So she's able to get up about ten feet off the ground. So you scramble up that high and and kind of cling to the the tree up there. At this point, rising up out of the ground right next to you two is what looks like a giant kind of insect with its its mandibles going like this. And we'll roll initiative, please. That's better. Woo! Annabella. I have a 12. Annabella has a 12. That's a 19 for me, just to put it out there. Oh. 19. <laughs> Ricky? 17. 17 for Ricky? Get a, uh, a 1, but an overall 4. <laughs> <laughs> Eunice is having a rough night. <laughs> Maybe, let's get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's fine, you're getting it up that now. potion, dude. Um, <laughs> and then your panther, it. does he take his own initiative? Or I think he takes his own initiative. Takes his own initiative. So you can roll an initiative for Mr. Fluffy. All right, Mr. Fluffy. Like and on that panther page, you'll see it'll Ooh. be his dex bonus. 21. Yep. Whoa. Oh, so 21. So Mr. Faithful. Fluffy's going to go first. <laughs> Faithful companion. <laughs> that cat can go. <laughs> so you are right now on Mr. Fluffy. Mm-hmm. But Mr. Fluffy is up there in there. Now, you know what, let's just draw this out. Ooh. So this is gonna be your main pathway that you were on, coming around like that. This was the first hole. You are in trees off to the side like this. Yeah, place yourselves where you were, you think. <laughs> Those of you in the trees. And then Fluffy and, oh here, I can help with that. Oh, yeah, we were like back to back. Yeah. And, oh, sorry, Fluffy's here as well. <laughs> Here we go. Back to back. This guy pops up oh, right crap. over there. 